These two guys came up with a great concept to talk to the nation and this practice. I thought that actually covered all the bases and everything. It's a great group of people. Hey there, this is Grandison Shines from the Blue Flame Cigar Society, and thank you very much for watching this edition of Cigar Talk, where we talk about cigars and we also visit other establishments that you should visit when you're here in town if you're not in town but i'm here at maduro's fine cigars and i have one of the other managing partners mr mark christian mark thank you very much for being on the show thank you granison hey and he's going to tell you about this really nice humidor they have now when i walk in there the cedar smell just, just gets me it's euphoric i mean if, if you love cigars you know how the cigars smell with the cedar it's just awesome. So when you're here, just make sure you stop in this place. But 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 Mark, tell me how many. Tell us about the uh, the humidor here. How many boxes of cigars you have in there now? We have probably have? around 200 boxes of cigars right now, currently in our humidor. Okay. We have some of the big name manufacturers that we do have in there right now. Uh, Perdomo, Rocky Patel, Ashton, Arturo Fuente. Okay. Uh, Macanudo, Drew Estates, Hoyo de Nicaragua, uh, Cub uh, Gran uh, Habano, Cusano, Christoph. Cool. If we don't have it, we'll probably carry it. Some other big names that we plan on carrying that should be arriving in our store very shortly. Uh, Padron, mm. CAO, nice. La Flor Dominicana. So we're going to have a wider range and variety of cigars in our 650 square foot humidor. I'd like to say a special thanks to two individuals that helped uh, with this, uh, not only the entire shop here and the construction, right. but the design. The okay. architect uh, that helped design that 650 square foot humidor, Mark Davenport, is a nice. good friend that I used to work with uh, about 10 years ago. He did a phenomenal job on the design. Also, uh, Bob Grenier, who was with CMJ Cabinets, did all the woodwork that you see inside that humidor, as well as the lockers that are inside oh, really? our okay. private members only lounge. So please come down, take a look, and see what fine work these individuals did to make this thing happen. Right. Now, the marks really. I mean, really understating the, the beauty of this humidor. I mean, not only is it perfect, has the perfect humidity, would you probably keep it at what, 70% or something like that? Yeah, we okay. try to keep the, the humidity level right around 70%. Okay. The thermostat is set around 73%. It, ideally for cigars, you want to keep the environment as tropical as possible there, as much moisture so that your cigars are, when you pull it off the shelf, it is in perfect, perfect condition, condition so that when you, you take go. it out and you go on your back patio or whether you stay inside our public or our private lounge you get the full effect of the experience right i'll tell you it's a nice humidor i tell you i'll tell you just not only the smell but the, the look and feel of the humidor really puts you in an environment that just invites you to grab your most favorite cigar and just kind of chill out after the fact and just smoke smoke away absolutely the walls and the ceiling of that humidor are lined with spanish cedar and cedar all the cabinetry there is marine grade plywood we have ample lighting what is nice about this humidor not only with the uh, the shelving and the walls amplify the fact with the lighting there most cigar shops that you go into uh, Sometimes you'll go in there and it seems so dark and so dark. dreary. Yeah, exactly. What is nice about our humidor is that it, along with the wood that we used in there and the lighting, it is well lit, bright, inviting. You don't feel like Very you're true. straining to Very find true. your favorite cigar right. in our humidor. Right. I mean, you can, I mean, he's, he's understanding it, really. I mean, you can read the, the labels very clearly. Sometimes you go into a humidor and you look at the labels and you kind of got to pick it up and you really kind of look at it because the lighting is not appropriate. Absolutely. And uh, all the trades. I, I mentioned uh, uh, most prominently the architect and, and the cabinet guy that did the work, but all the trades that had done such 
had done such a phenomenal they job, a job uh, with the entire construction of our space. We've got probably close to 2,500 square feet of retail space here for an enjoyable environment here right. so that we're you know whether you want to come in grab your favorite cigars and go home or whether you want to grab your favorite cigar sit down and relax on our six flat screen TVs we have something for everyone nice nice so you guys have some other events coming up pretty soon here talk to us about some of those events well shortly after our, our grand opening uh, weekend is happening this weekend but shortly after our grand opening we have two events that are coming within the next couple of weeks on okay. April 29th Write it we down. have April 29th that is next Thursday we have Gurkha cigars we are going to have a, a, a taste a cigar tasting for Gurkha cigars okay there will be specials there for that will be offered up to the public there uh, Probably in the lines of you buy a few sticks, get one free, okay. buy a box, get, get you know a handful free, that kind of event there. So please come in, relax, have a smoke, and sit and, and you could, I, I, I can't remember her last name, but uh, her first name is Shauna. Shauna's with Gurkha, she will be here to uh, answer all your questions Ron and myself will also be here to answer any questions you have about Gurkha Cigars. Also, on May 12th, which is also a Thursday, we have CAO Cigars that will be in the shop. Uh, Bud's uh, Bedouin uh, with CAO Cigars will be in the shop. Okay. And we will have a similar type of event where we will feature that cigar that's in our humidor along with certain specials if you make a purchase of CAO cigars. Okay, great. Well, make sure you come back to their site, madurosticks.com, M-A-D-U-R-O-S-T-I-X.com, because they have other events that we're not mentioning right now that will be coming up and featured here at this location. So, Mark, thank you very much for being on the show. Granison, thank you very much. Likewise, and guess what? Make sure you turn into our next edition, tune into our next edition of, of Cigar Talk. You're going to love what we have for you. So hang in there. And by the way, go smoke something. See you later.